Man, I just made a video that was 24 minutes long. <laughs> this is like take 3010. Uh, there's so much going on. All right, so let the links do the talking, I think, is what the thing is. Did you notice in that one, uh, my last video, where uh, when David Letterman was talking about, hey, for Romney, dead silence. Hey, for Newt Gingrich, dead silence. That is a big, bigger indicator of the popularity of these guys than anything else. Um, because seriously, if you ask people who they're for, Romney and Gingrich are not the guys. Ron Paul, it's Ron Paul. Okay, I got a link there. The first link is to delegates. People need to become delegates. Because the whole theater about who's winning and all the vote fraud that's going on doesn't matter. It's the delegates that matters. Ron Paul understands this, right? Now, I'd rather that have been a secret, <laughs> but it was getting to the point where the faithful were losing faith because of these, right? Because of the theater. You still rely on the mainstream media to get your news. So the theater, the story is, oh, it was Santorum that won. Oh, it was Romney that won. Oh, it's Gingrich that won. Oh, look, it's anybody but Ron Paul that won. Oh, look, he's won. Oh, he didn't come in. He's coming in third. But who's coming in first with the delegates? Ron Paul. Why do they hate him so? Oh, why? Why do they hate him so? Well, they hate him so because he's the one exposing the bankers. He's the one exposing the military-industrial complex, which is owned by the bankers. He's the one talking peace, which all it is, it boils down to money. It just boils down to money. You guys want to talk about Satan and evil? No, it's just about money. Never assume malice when stupidity will suffice. I think that was Napoleon that said that. Stupidity, they become stupid with their money. They become drunk on power and money. It's not about being evil per se. It's just because the money. Why do they want to go up against Libya and, and, and you know bring down Gaddafi? Because it was about the money. It was because about it was about FRN hegemony. He was talking about a, a gold dinar. So they got rid of him. And they used our military to do it. Shame on us. What, who's, who doesn't have a central bank? Oh, Iran doesn't have a central bank. Okay, so who's next on the thing? The bankers want their money. The bankers want it. And it's the last butterfly for their collection. Do you understand? I don't think you do. They can talk about oil. They can talk about whatever. But it always comes down to the money. right? Talk about Muslims and Christians and Israel. It, it just comes down to the money. They would love it if we would get in a war with with the Chinese and the Russians. We would probably lose that war. But that's what is shaping up. Proxy wars in uh, the Middle East could easily escalate into a world war. With Syria, you know, Sy the Russians have basically said, you know, they've put a line in the sand. So have the Chinese. If you mess with the, with the Syrians and the Iranians, you're messing with us. And there will be direct consequences. And both of their militaries are preparing for war. While we prepare for war, right, building I mean, the hospitals and so forth and putting the bases around Iran, that should be very, very clear that we are deadly serious about going to war with Iran. And we're just waiting for the appropriate time. The one guy that would like to put an end to this saber-rattling and warmongering is Ron Paul. And that would put an end to huge profits. And you fools who are thinking that it's about, you know, weapons of mass destruction and nuclear weapons, again, who just got fooled. You just got fooled by Iraq. Right? The chances of them having a nuclear weapon are slim, but even if they did get a nuclear weapon, even the Mossad, even the generals in Israel are saying that it wouldn't be a direct threat to Israel because there's no way that Iran would drop the bomb on Israel. They're not crazy people. Now, we, again, we absolutely play into the hands of the mullahs because we make a, you know, these threats that keep them from being overthrown by their own people. Because they're just as sick of their government as we are of ours. Now, that's that's the absolute truth. Our Congress has a nine percent approval rating. Now, this President Obama, he his approval rating isn't so high either, and people are seeing that the bankers have usurped our government, and that Obama is in their hip pocket, just the same way the other three Republican candidates would be in their hip pocket, which is why they do everything to marginalize Ron Paul because he is not in their hip pocket. So I have many links here for you to educate your friends about who these bankers are, what their motivations are, and their motivations are directly contrary to the best interests of the bulk of the American people. They serve the very few, not the many. The elite, these people are, these are not good people. It's as simple as that. And the American people, up until quite recently, were unaware that there was vote fraud in the United States. That's the best thing about Nevada and now Maine. Look at what's going on in Maine. They haven't finished counting the votes and they're trying to throw it for Romney. 
All right, but it doesn't matter because who gets the delegates? So become a delegate. Quit talking about third party. Quit talking about how the fix is in and how we can't win this thing. Just shut up and go to work. Right? <laughs> to use, who was that? I can't remember. Uh, O'Reilly. Shut up. <laughs> you disagree with me. Shut up. No, okay. You disagree with me. That's fine. But get out there and go to work. The idea is get out there and go to work. Right? You've got to go to work. It's as simple as that. You've got to work 10 times harder. It's as simple as that. Now, the issues are actually very, very simple. Again, the main issue is the Federal Reserve. All these other issues are side issues. It's as simple as that. Again, abortion and health care and social issues and the, you know, these are all very, very, drug war, all very important issues. Abortion, all very important issues. I'm not saying they're not, but I'm saying they're not as big as war with Persia and the even bigger issue of the Federal Reserve and the war with the central bankers that's been going on since this nation was founded. Look at our history. William Jennings Bryant, a hundred years ago, they put the people to sleep. They managed, the bankers managed to win. And the way they did it was the paradigm of the Republican and Democrat fighting for you. No, they're, they're both on the side of the bankers. Simple. Now people have woken up and they're starting to see through that paradigm. So what are they, what are they trying to do? Well, now they're trying to do Christian Muslim or race is the other paradigms that seem to work with dividing the people, but they've always used divide and conquer. The people need to unite and wake up and understand what the issue is, and the issue is the currency. The Federal Reserve note is not the dollar. The Federal Reserve note has usurped the dollar. The Federal Reserve note is going to collapse. It's a mathematical certainty, and when it does, there's going to be pain. There's one guy that sees this and is trying desperately to make people understand that we need to be ready for that and replace that currency, the Federal Reserve note, with something else, or at least give it some competition so that when the one fails, you can resort to the other. Do you understand? I don't think you do. So you need to make more people, you need to get it clear in your mind, and then you need to inform others. The Federal Reserve note is going to collapse. There's no two ways around it. Whether Ron Paul gets in there or not, the Federal Reserve note is going to collapse. There's no saving it. No fiat currency has ever survived in the history of mankind. Never has, never will. They always run the printing press until the dollar, or until the dollar, until whatever the currency is collapses. So now, if we could have a competing currency, you'd have something to turn to. Now, of course, the bankers are going to want the competing currency or whatever, you know, replaces the FRN to be in their best interest again. What needs that? And this is, again, why they are so vehemently against Ron Paul because he would put in a system that might be beneficial to the people and repeal the laws that are unconstitutional. Our Constitution is a miracle, my friends. Right? Tyranny is, has been the way we've done things for thousands of years. Liberty and freedom and individual liberty is, is a new concept and one that they're desperately trying to kill. But it's too late. We've already tasted the cup of liberty. We have. Too many Americans, there, there's no going back. Too many people are waking up to the fact that it's the bankers and the problem with the bankers. It's not conspiracy theory. See, and the, what the, the bankers did was they trained you to use the term conspiracy theory. And now people are starting to wake up and realize it's not conspiracy theory. Well, there is con some conspiracy there, but it's not just, you know, crazy talk. That the bankers are responsible for many of the ills that are going on right now. The mortgage crisis, the dollar crisis, the financial crisis. It's the bankers. The reason why people are hurting in the United States right now, it's the bankers. They control our economy via the currency. Whoever controls the currency, credit and interest, and those rates, is the absolute master of commerce. Not us. And the founding fathers had set it up in our constitution so that we would be master of our own destiny. How are you master of your own destiny if you don't even control your medium of exchange? You have become debt slaves. The best way to enslave people, they figured out, is through debt. Right? The power of compound interest working against you. The one guy talking about this and exposing this is Ron Paul. They hate him for it. Now, the, this is the biggest issue of our time. It's the same, like I said, 100 years ago, William Jennings Bryan, it's the same thing, but they managed to put you guys to sleep. You need to wake up as many people as you can. That people go to sleep in, you know, on mass 
but they wake up one at a time, and they're waking up one at a time very quickly now. People are seeing what the main issues are, and the main issues are the Federal Reserve. Simple as that. Then comes war. Then comes drug war. And then all these other issues. I mean, and it's not just me, my personal bias. I mean, just based on the amount of people it affects, based on dollar amounts, the Federal Reserve is all the money. Trillions and trillions of dollars being wasted on war, and hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not millions and millions of lives, stand to be lost if we go into another world war. All right. Make the main thing the main thing. And your, you know, getting out and supporting Ron Paul needs to include, one, if it's already happened in your state, then you need to make sure that the people that caused the fraud are brought to justice and you do whatever you can to expose the fraud, authenticate and verify, you know, bring those people to justice, help the Ron Paul Super PAC uh, bring those people to justice. All right, those people in the, going forward, n you know, it, we need to be proactive and try to avoid the thing in the first place. But the main thing is the delegates. And the Ron Paul Super PAC is there to, to, to help change the story so that the theater includes Ron Paul being the num number one in the, you know, the eyes of the populace. But we know in many states, Nevada and, and Maine and other places, Ron Paul was wildly popular, much more popular than those polls showed. Okay, well, it, what matters is the, dele is the delegates. That's the main thing. So you need to make sure that you get out there and not get discouraged and stay home because you were waiting for him to be a third-party candidate or whatever the hell the story is. What you need to do is get out and make sure you do as best you can to make sure that he gets as many delegates as possible and that people understand that. So anyway, educate yourself and your friends on how to become a delegate. And then educate your friends and whoever you know you can to the to the truth of the matter with the Federal Reserve and the currency, because it's the truth is not pretty, you know. And be prepared for what comes. Doesn't matter if Ron Paul gets in there; he's not going to fix everything, but he can help make things easier for all of us and restore the Constitution and restore the Republic to what it should be, which is a nation of laws, not a nation of men. And then stop all the saber rattling, and there could be peace. There could actually be peace, right? War is over if you want it. Obama is not going to end wars. He's he's in the hip hop. All the people that are advising Obama are giving him advice that has you know comes from the money angle, comes from the Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Citibank, Bank of America angle. That's the that's right, and their angle and their you know their point of view, their agenda is contrary to the agenda of the mass of the people. It's as simple as that. And we have four guys that are basically in the hip pockets of the bankers running against the one guy that isn't. And people need to see this. And they'll try to, you know, make abortion and the fact that he's a creationist and so forth or, or a racist to be the important things because these are issues that divide. Liberty is the issue that unites. The Constitution should be the issue that unites. Vote fraud should be an issue that unites because if they can do it to Ron Paul, they can do it to anybody. Simple as that. And then the main issue, the money, the money, all the money, should be an issue that unites. Right? E pluribus unum. Ron Paul, 2012. Use my links. I can't even begin to thank you enough and all the support I've gotten. It's crazy that this channel's gotten 17,000 plus views, uh, proving once again that it's not just four guys in a room that are for Ron Paul. Spread the spread spread the word spread this video if you can or if you want to if you don't want to spread the video use the links to your best advantage. All right, Ron Paul, two thousand and twelve.